Hello everyone. Watch this dynamic performance analytic dashboard for HR department. You know, as and when you click on the agenda, it gives you the performance of females in the organization. There were 103 females. Um, the average salary of a female worker is 39,000 Ghana cities or dollar or naira. There were 20 promotions for females. If you hit on the male, you can tell that a lot of males were promoted as compared to females. And most of the males who performed had their secondary school education from Infante Pempo, Juba, Adisada, Presec. And um, if you can also check by the school, maybe University of Ghana and check the performance of University of Ghana students who were hired. So you can tell from here that University of Ghana students also performed well and all that. So this dashboard actually helps you to know the factors that influenced performance in a particular period of time. Assuming you have this from the HR, the IT department giving you this data. As you can see, it is raw data from the HR department that has been collected. It gives you the region, it gives you the proposition, the phone numbers and all that. But how do we make meaning out of this? This is the data that has been collected from a particular organization from the beginning of January to date. And before we can make any decision, at the end of the year, at the HR strategic meeting for the organization, we need to support our decision with data. So this data was cleaned. I had to clean this data using some techniques, st statistical techniques, and also some analytical techniques and Excel functions and formulas to come up with a simple dashboard that will make it easy to take this decision in the HR department. I must say this is very simple. Once again, my name is Gabriel and I do trainings and design templates and also do analysis for companies so that they can help make an informed decision. Let's get back to our dashboard. Sharp. At one click, Looking at all the data that has gone through, we realize that people who had attended three or four trainings performed better than people who had attended one or two trainings during the year under consideration. So HR next year must advise management to push more resources to training as training has direct influence on their staff performance. In addition to that, checking from the marital status angle, you can tell that singles, 51% of performance came from singles and married one came. So the marital status of the staff in this particular organization doesn't really have any direct impact on the performance. However, if you check the age of staff as against their performance, People who are younger, the millennials, people between ages bracket between 21 and 30, 31 and 40, normally perform better than people who are beyond the ages of 40. That is during the period under consideration. You can also see here that people who stay longer tend to perform lower than people who stay below 10 years. So after 10 years, it looks like the performance of some staff begin to go down. And people that come into the converse, into the company performs better. Now let's do something interesting. Female promotions were 20 as against male promotions that were 49. That wasn't good. That wasn't good. The gap was too wide. How come we promoted more males than females? So the HR need to ask the question and find out why. Um, let's consider here the agenda area and let's hit on the F, which is for females. That gives you the entire performance for only females. So you can tell that females 
who are from Holy Child Secondary School, St. Louis Secondary School, Ebri Girls, always perform better than people from Achimota and Wigehe. I must say this is just for analytical purposes, um, but this is the organization that what really happened within the year under consideration. And the same trend that was for the organization against the age, people that are older tend to perform lower, slightly, than people that are younger, even though initially here is low. If you check the female performance too, people that come into the company and stay within less than 10 years perform better than people who stay beyond and then it's still the same. Let's do for male. By at one click, you can tell what is happening in your HR department, the factors that is influencing. So you can draw insight out of this. When I click on male, you can tell the same trend also holds here. That people that are lower, 10 years, less than 10 years, tend to perform better than people that have been in the company for more than 10 years. What is this telling us as an HR? or every a strategic person based on this data it means people who are older need to go through a certain kind of orientation another form of training to get them to perform like as they were um, when they were less than 10 years in the company so hr needs to based on this they can take a decision and have a special training for these people it may be because they've been there for too long they are bored or something we need to look at that that is based on the data we have around then if you check on the male performance in fan supreme here again pope jones is here adisado presec achimota um saint augustine this group of people it looks like they perform better than people from these schools that i wouldn't want to mention name based on the data interestingly if you come on the job status, active staff, that shows us various information about people that are still in the organization. Um, we, we, we had about 99 female staff, sorry here. So the whole staff, we have 193 staff um, during the year that were still there. It means eight staff exited just by clicking on the exit you can know why and out of this age you can tell females stay longer than guys most of the guys resign about eight of them as against eight females and the people who resigned the average salary for all of them averagely was this way but if you carefully check the trend for females that resigned most of these female that resigned were from holy child Ashimota and Wegehe. But check here, that is where the, my interest is, this part on the training side. These females all attended trainings three or four times. So we can link this female performance to promotions. If females are not promoted as men, but they are trained well, then other competitors can easily poach them. This is analytics. This decision is from the data. What is the data saying? So. KNUST and University of Legon ladies who are not promoted but are trained well are likely to be posed by our competitors as simple as that however if you check the trend for the guys um, let me check on this moment I have the male males that exited good so based on the data we have this information at one glass and any HR person can know how we can easily make a decision based on the data the data is talking to us but if we don't analyze we are going to be sitting in front of something that looks like this how can we make data? How can we make decision out of this? However, when you have an HR dashboard like this, at one glance, you can see what is happening around and know the main drivers to performance in your organization. It looks like we have to hire more infant Pimp of Jones 
um, a holy child and a desadel and um, preserved students who have degree and train them well and they are going to perform well within the first 10 years of the organization whether they get married or not we don't have a problem because it doesn't really influence that much but when they get older when they are older they are very old in age that is where their performance begins to dwindle so based on the data we are going to employ younger people who are from these secondary schools Pope John's will be child in fact prim and I've attended these universities, any of them wouldn't make any uh, change, we're okay with that. And make sure we spend so much money in training and the company is going to do well in 2020. Thank you for your time. But if you need anything like this, or you have your data seated, you can talk to um, me or email me and we can take it up from there. Welcome to the world of analytics. This is just a simple one from Microsoft Excel. There are other tools, platforms, the Power BI's, the Tableaus, the Blockers, and all that can do wonderful and interesting things to your HR department, your HR data. See you in our next section. If you like this, just leave your comments below or like and share to other HR professionals who might have interest in this. Bye.